So you want to be the best truck driver and even take your stuff from point A to point B in style without spending too much money. Whether you're an intermediate player or just starting out, this is the video for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Laura here, digital advertiser, content creator, and Eve Enjoyer for the better part of 10 years now. Thank you again for all the goodies recently with the YouTube partnership. It's all going. My Halloween costume is coming in nice. I cannot be stopped. Let's dive into the video. Okay, this is the Sun Assist. This is the first one we're gonna, we're gonna start with, and indeed, it is the hauler you should go for when you are just starting out. It is cheap, 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 cheap at just under 30 million Iskaroonies. Okay, we've got the cargo hold optimizations. We've got the inertia stabilizer. We've got the expanded cargo hold twos. You can put what you want in the highs and the lows. Quite frankly, you're going to die if someone targets you anyway. I would just stick with this. All the fits that we're going to talk about in this video are going to be in the description. So don't feel like you have to, you know, pause and write stuff down. Go into the description, get the stuff you need. Thank you very much. So this is when you're just starting out the one you should be going after, right? But this is not very slippery and can be easy to find, easy to take down all that stuff. This is the next hauler you want to go into it is the stradios it is commonly understood that uh, the sisters of eve ships are quite nice it is one of my favorite kind of ships and the stradios is the next starting uh, hauler you want to be going into because it fits the covert ops cloak you don't necessarily need the inertial stabilizers maybe if you fit it with it you can get it sub two second align time but this one is going to have about 3000 m3 comparatively to the sun assist which had i think it was like 1300 so you get a nice boost not double but almost there uh, for a decent chunk more isk, but the Stratios is a very diverse ship. You can use it for a wide variety of things, Sisters of Eve style. So, and you'll notice the highs and lows, or excuse me, highs and mids are not finished, filled out. That's because, again, there's not a lot you can really put in here that's going to really change the fact. You're just moving stuff from point A to point B. Get your cargo hold optimizations, get your covert ops cloak, get you some expanded cargo holds, move your things. Both of these ships are going to be able to move your blueprints, your skill books, your small, your scanning items, right? Anything that you get that is lower on the capacity and gets uh, you some money, okay? You're not gonna necessarily be able to move a bunch of big items in this, hence why it is the starting out hauler, okay? The final starting hauler that you wanna get if you're uh, new to the game and uh, all that good stuff is the Iteron. Okay, this is something that I have, and there's a bunch of different uh, race-specific ships. Just get your T1 hauler, this is it. This fit is going to take uh, 20k M3 with this uh, good stuff I have coming out here. Let me let me give you the fit right here. It's also got a sub 10 second align time, so you don't want the uh, micro warp drive trick, afterburning trick, whatever it is. So I just have some tech on there to discourage some of the smaller uh, gankers, but you're going to die in this if somebody actually wants to take you out. It's one of the reasons why I'm not using this is a fit I used for a long time. <laughs> I never got killed in it somehow, but I used this fit on the other one for a long time. You can actually get up to 40,000 M3 three with a bunch of expanded cargo holds as well as the medium optimizations in the rig slots are going to pump this up to 40. So you don't ever really want to take this much stuff out. Uh, gankers will hit you when they cargo scan and see your uh, cargo hold is above about 100 million. About 100 million is when gankers start to like break even. So that's the thinking there. You're never actually going to want to take out 40,000 worth of uh, 40,000 filled of stuff. Instead, closer to 1915, that's kind of where I like to sit. And then I take my stuff to Jitta. So it's worth noting that these are the your new to the game fits. The Sun Assist is alpha friendly. So if you this fit, so if you've got a alpha uh, alt, this is the kind of hauling ship you want to go get your skill books and those light items with a very quick two second aligned time. Okay, so those are the best starting out ships. So what do you do? If you're an established player and you're like, I got all this stuff I want to move around. I don't know what the heck to do. Enter in the tier two haulers. This is our Viator. We're going to have uh, entire videos dedicated to the Viator and the Ocator coming up. So sub for that. Suffice it to say what you're going to use these for. There's two types of T2 haulers. There is the blockade runner, which are quick, slippery, and ab when I say quick, let me show you what I mean. We got 9 AU on the warp speed. That's with the hyperspatial velocity optimizers. So many words. That's going to make it go very fast. It doesn't hold as much as you would think, but that's because the goal of these is to be able to get in and out covertly with the covert ops and continue forward. Again, these fits are going to be in separate videos because there's way more to, more to talk about. I don't want y'all flying blind with some of this, so look for those videos, okay? Viator is slippery and is cloaked, okay? Then we're gonna have the Ocator. All right, the Ocator is very different from the Viator in that it is tanky and has a massive amount of cargo space. But Laura, 
I thought you said it has a massive cargo space. I only see 3,900. Well, let's look at the info here. And we go down to the fleet hangar, and we see the fleet hangar is 60,000. Them three. You're going to move all the things you need with this, okay? Get all the things. Load it up into the Ocator. Pop your tank. You got quite the big booty in this one. Again, entire video coming on this one coming up, so go sub for that, okay? So the two differences are Ocator the deep space transport ships and again if you want to use a different race ship that's fine these are meant to be bulky tanky and have a big big cargo space the viator is going to be slippery not so tanky cloak and fast okay very speedy okay there's one more ship that I want to talk to you about that is like the best ship for scenarios, and that's the Bowhead, okay? The Bowhead is not something I can fly on this character. It is a capital ship, and it is meant to carry ships. It is a hauling ship meant for ship carrying. Okay, say that 10 times fast. We've got a million six M3 in the ship maintenance bay. This is meant for, you can take a Marauder. I believe you can fit two Marauders in there at once, depending on the Marauder, I, th I think. Marauder plus stuff, you can fit multiple battleships. Craps on a cruisers, craps on a frigates, all that good stuff. Okay, so that's the bowhead. Some honorable mentions in there on the Galente side as we come to the end of this video. And before we dive into that, I just want to say thanks. If you're here, this is the secret callout section of this video. Hashtag put in the comments secret callout gang if you made it this far into a Lorem Earth Gaming video. We hit 1,500 subs recently. Also, YouTube partner. And we got our membership button, our join button. That's below. Click it if you want to support me. You know, if you know what a Twitch sub is, that's this. It helps me out a lot. Okay. Depending on when this video comes out as well, we're doing a YouTube partnership live stream celebration. Check that out if you missed it. No problem. We're going to do more sub to the channel. Join the channel. Thank you very much. Remember, if you are this far into the video, I want to know about you. I want to know that you're enjoying the content this much. Hit that hashtag secret call out in the comments. I'll talk to you. Okay. Let's get back to the video. Thank you. Honorable mentions, honorable mentions. The Galente side specifically has some really awesome hauling ships. We've got the Cryos that is specifically for ice and mineral hauling. So if you're an ice miner, get, get yourself a Cryos. The Epithal is the staple for planetary interaction, money and stuff, the PI. So get yourself an Epithal if that's what you want. And then you're gonna have a Miasmos for just general ore hauling, not focused on ice that just has the ore hauling. We actually have one in here that we're going to be showing off in a future video as well, okay? We didn't talk about any of the big freighters. These are just massive cargo spaces and the jump freighters. These are massive cargo spaces that can jump to Sinos that other characters liked. These are really for advanced players, quite frankly, and I don't really want to talk about them. So there's more to it than that. There'll be future videos. And that is what is going to be the segue here. More videos are about to come up at the end of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the future video. Thanks very much.